we are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So we just weighed anchor in Jacksonville and this is the only bridge that's going to open for us now, this tiny little bridge and they do it on demand so it's not every half hour or 20 minutes or whatever so it's on demand. There we go, that's the man. There he is. So this is the train bridge leaving Jacksonville. It is pretty much open the whole time, so it's only when a train passes that they will drop it. So we are busy. Packing up, we just fill up with water and we've got the deck hand. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, I'm not the only deck hand. <laughs> I've got the mate. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Jacksonville over there. And so we are full of diesel and we just fill up water here. It's for free. It's amazing. So just before Jacksonville, if you hit up the river, well, if you go inbound, because the river goes both ways, <laughs> then there's a free marina. You can stay there for three days for free. We just went in there to fill in water. And look at this brown water. So we are leaving Jacksonville <laughs> officially. And look at the line, the color in the water is a definite line here in front which means clear seawater is going to be just a little bit further and just check where we are we we are here at st augustine we anchored right in front of the lion bridge and that is apparently the oldest town or city in the united states of america so we're getting ready to go to St. Augustine. The most popular fudge bar in St. Augustine. You can smell it a mile away. Oh, now it's going to disappear. How cool is this train? 21. I like I like the way it says San, San, San Sebastian Winery Distillery So it's only this part is going to be good <laughs> All the others is like wax museums and right, right here, this is the oldest resident in St. Augustine This is the old senator This, this is a southern live oak tree That has been documented to be between 600 and 650 years old sure. Now the reason they call the southern, southern live oak tree the old senator Because he's shady and crooked now, right now, you are riding on beautiful Magnolia Street. National Geographic rates Magnolia Street one of the this top ten most beautiful like streets in North America. This whole street, Magnolia Street, is a dune. See, there's very, very few streets in St. Augustine do not, that do not flood, and this is one of them right here. We are America's oldest city. Ahead of us is stop number four, the city gates. That was the only entry point into the city by land. Well, the walls are still up. Around the walls, they put in a boat. Because what's a good walled city without a boat, right? And that boat went all the way around the city. And inside of it, because it's about 50 feet wide and 20 feet deep, they planted yucca plants. Now, the pedestal here on the left, that is Pedro Menendez.
the one that founded St. Augustine. That date, September 8, 1565. My friend, they even introduced the Otis Elevator here. The year 1890, inside a <laughs> came in last night when we were not on the boat and he was so close to us they need to lift anchor and he's close to that boat there as well I'm going to move it over there that will be happiness I've got your MMSI number as well okay I'll give you my number we can talk goodbye St. Augustine Beautiful off beach. It was all dark the other night. I think we dropped the hook at about 8.30 at night. That is a sandbank against the waves, breaking waves. But just behind it, it's huge swells that we came in with. So we went all the way around. Jeez, we bounced to about there and then we came in. Check this eagle. Here's a fish. How cool is that? He's trying to land on Sisu to eat the fish. I will be pissed off but still cool. It's Friday, it is sunny, we have blue skies and you don't hear an engine because we've got a big coat of D out and it is so awesome to sail again and it's downwind sailing no more bouncing bouncing it's just amazing about an hour's time we haven't caught for a long 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 time because we haven't sailed for a long 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 time that's a skip jack skip jack it's okay it's a fish there we go same as the last one yeah cool bananas and they're decent sizes as well oh Damn! That was attack and release. It was it was planned. <laughs> oh man! As we catch so many fish, <laughs> we have to attack and release them. Neptune decided one a day. There's no such thing as. Well, I could do with one a day. <laughs> yeah. No, we Instead of one it. a year. <laughs> you all saw it was this big one, right? <laughs> The big one got away. Wait, wait. This big one got away. <laughs> oh, we've got them both out. <laughs> no ways. No ways. Now who's going to take the video? Topsy Daisy. 
Okay, I think that one we're going to let it get tired a little bit. Okay. Oh, you got it! Good. On. On. <laughs> Just keep it keep it below. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, photo <laughs> Instagram opportunity. <laughs> So this guy just had a couple of squirts. Wow. Lots of little squirts. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at the calamari and tuna. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, okay, that doesn't look too small, I was thinking of releasing it. It's almost the size, half the size of the sugar scoop. Wow, okay. Baby you got it? Yep. Okay, I can, can I drop the camera? Yes, <laughs> it's our first night run from St. Augustine to Fort Lauderdale and we're coming up on to Cape Canaveral. And fortunately no launches and there's no launches for the next 10 days. So no SpaceX, no Starlink launches, nothing for us. Very sad to pass Cape Canaveral without any launches, but we do have a fancy show, a huge lightning show. Let me try and put that on camera. I'm not sure we're going to do that, but let me try. It was a pretty tough night. We played dodge jumps with these storms and they're still there. It's amazing. And I believe Cape Canaveral is over there, so no SpaceX launches <laughs> with all this weather in the air. As for wind, we do have wind, it's right from the back. So we've got our Cody and Genoa on wing on wing. And I look fairly happy. What we wanted, my oh, we must just not get away. And I just shortened this one. I thought I need to. Oh, come on, oh. come on, come on, come on, stay on, stay on. Please, please, just stay on the hook. Stay oh, on, on the hook. <laughs> Watch for that last shape. Aye, that's a my. <laughs> Fish number six. Very good. Are we oh. going to keep it? Yeah, I think we I don't know. Can I'm we sure keep, we can, can we eat, eat it here? Yes, we're not in the Bahamas. Okay. I think we can eat it. Sun is about to rise. Well, maybe an hour. Yeah, say half an hour. On this side, sunrise. And on this side we have the skyline of Fort Lauderdale. So we are back here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, we sailed all apart all the way. So we have now the Genoa up because Pietro still need to go for a last sleep and we he would have arrived here in a shift so we decide to, just to put the ooh, the Genoa out, oh there you can see the Genoa <laughs> and 
it's not 100% saleable for Genoa, so we also have our steaming light on, which means we have the engine on. We have now this one the port side engine on, and been been pushed gently at uh, almost six knots. We're almost doing six knots, 5.7. We tied up here at the friend's house here in Fort Lauderdale. They're busy painting the house, but <laughs> check this. There's a space for a dinghy here. And then up front, there's not <laughs> much other space here. And Pietro had to grab that line, so we did it without help. So Pietro had to reach over, grab that line, while the bowsprit almost poked that boat. And yes, the yacht club. And the sun is just just up, so I'm still busy with, with my first coffee. Fort Lauderdale.